In the ever-spinning tapestry of time, where the threads of entertainment weave together the unforgettable moments of our lives, there lies a doorway to a realm of medical drama that once ignited the small screens of yesteryears. Picture yourself, if you will, back in the nostalgic glow of 1982, a time when television was more than mere pixels. It was a window to another world, an emotional conduit that connected hearts and minds across living rooms. And there it was, a show named Sint. Elsewhere, stepping onto the stage of your existence like a mysterious doctor with a compelling prescription. As the opening credits unfolded, a melodic rhythm seemed to echo the heartbeat of anticipation within you. Those characters, residents, doctors, nurses, became a part of your extended family, their stories intertwining with your own as the corridors of the fictional scent. Elegious Hospital echoed with laughter, tears, and the poignant struggles of life. In the midst of that bustling medical haven, amidst life's rawest moments, the show dared to explore the raw intricacies of existence, not just the physical, but the emotional, the uncharted territories of human experience. It was more than a series, it was a mirror reflecting the complexity of existence itself. And oh, the moments that remain etched in your mind like timeless snapshots, Doctor. Westfall's introspective musings, Dr. Auschlander's wisdom that transcended medicine, the quirky camaraderie of the staff, and the unforgettable finale that spun your perceptions like a merry-go-round of thoughts and emotions. But hold on, let's not wander too far into the memories just yet. Before we delve into the fascinating trivia of the show, let's shine a spotlight on some lesser-known facets, the intriguing backstage tales that shaped this iconic piece of television history. From unexpected casting decisions to the profound impact on medical dramas that followed, these are the threads that wove the fabric of Scent elsewhere into something more than just a TV show. So, dear reader, as we step back into the corridors of time and uncover the hidden gems that colored the canvas of this remarkable series, take a moment to embrace your own journey with Scent elsewhere. What were your cherished moments? The laughter, the tears, the connections you formed with its characters. Let them rise to the surface and dance in the glow of nostalgia. And now, let us embark on this enchanting exploration. A tribute to a show that held our hearts in its hands. A testament to the power of storytelling that transcends generations. As we journey through the corridors of trivia and tidbits, remember that scent. Elsewhere was more than just a show, it was a glimpse into the human soul, a reflection of our own complexities and triumphs. So, without further ado, let the curtains rise on the tales behind the scenes, the anecdotes that brought this medical tapestry to life, and the impact it left on the world of entertainment. 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 In the realm of 1982 television, one standout gem emerged, the gripping medical drama scent. Elsewhere, while the show's ensemble nature remains a hallmark, a curious backstage anecdote reveals the deliberate orchestration behind its character dynamics. Actor William Daniels, who portrayed Dr. Mark Craig, recounts a unique audition process. Producers, keen to showcase the ensemble's ebb and flow, handed Daniels not only the pilot script but also the initial trio of scripts. This crafty move illuminated the prominence of Dr. Craig in select episodes while highlighting the broader tapestry of characters that wove the show's fabric. But the intricacies of casting did not stop there. Prior to Ed Flanders' embodiment of Dr. Donald Westfall, the role beckoned another talent. Hal Linden, the celebrated actor, was once poised to fill Westfall's shoes. Fate, however, led him down a different path, leaving room for Flanders to step into the iconic character's skin, etching his mark on the medical saga. In an episode pulsating with historical resonance, Dr. and Mrs. Craig's visit to Philadelphia birthed a moment of art imitating life. William Daniels, known for his portrayal of John Adams in 1776, seized the opportunity to serenade Independence Square with a snippet of Sit Down, John. The resonant chords echoed not only in the episode, but also in Dr. Craig's dialogue. A personal confession, harking back to medical school days, bore shades of similarity to John Adams' own sentiments to his spouse. The two Adams, separated by centuries and roles, found a harmonious intersection through Daniel's masterful portrayal. Sent elsewhere, a series that delved into the intricacies of human existence within the medical realm, achieved a rare feat, marrying the past with the present, the scripted with the historical. In the midst of the medical drama's intricate tales, these behind-the-scenes threads remind us that even in a fictional world, the bonds of history and artistry are inextricably intertwined. 
and so the legacy of Sint. Elsewhere endures not merely as a medical drama but as a tableau of interconnected lives, both on screen and off, emblematic of the nuanced dance between character and actor past and present. In 1982, a groundbreaking medical drama emerged on NBC, captivating the hearts and minds of viewers despite never achieving top ratings. Sent Elsewhere, a series that thrived for six seasons owes its survival to an unexpected demographic, the educated 18 to 49-year-olds. Dubbed as Hill Street Blues in a Hospital, the show was the brainchild of a visionary producer who saw potential in combining the grittiness of a police drama with the intensity of a medical setting. This unique pitch resonated with NBC executives, leading to the birth of Sint. Elsewhere, its gripping portrayal of life within the fictional Sint, Elegious Hospital became a cultural touchstone, tackling both medical and societal issues. However, what truly set Sint elsewhere apart was its uncanny ability to attract the coveted 18 to 49-year-old demographic a group highly sought after by advertisers. Despite never becoming a ratings powerhouse, the show's appeal to this educated and influential segment ensured its continued existence. This dedicated viewership remained engrossed in the lives of the hospital staff, finding solace in the complex characters and their intertwined fates. As the series neared its poignant conclusion, a memorable logo gimmick left an indelible mark. In a surprising twist during the final episode's credits, the iconic MTM Productions logo featuring a meowing kitten was shown lying in a hospital bed, symbolically pulling the plug on itself. Strikingly, the real-life MTM kitty passed away just two months after the show concluded, turning the metaphor into an unintended yet fitting farewell. Sunt elsewhere may not have basked in mainstream popularity, but its enduring legacy lies in its ability to captivate a specific audience and explore the intricate web of life within a hospital's walls. The show's resonance with the educated 18 to 49-year-olds, coupled with its innovative narrative approach, ensures that Sint elsewhere will forever be remembered as a triumph of niche storytelling. 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 In a surprising twist behind the scenes of the 1982 TV series Sint, Elsewhere, tensions between actor G.W. Bailey and executive producer Bruce Paltrow led to Bailey's departure after the first season. According to Bailey, the two clashed to the extent that he opted to exit the series. Bailey's absence, however, didn't hinder the show's eventual success. While the medical drama delved into the lives of the fictional Sint, Elegious Hospital staff, real-life romance blossomed amidst the fictional crises. William Daniels and Bonnie Bartlett, who portrayed Dr. Mark Craig and Ellen Craig respectively, were just playing a married couple on screen. The two talented actors were also married in real life, a fact that added an authentic layer to their on-screen chemistry. The show's creative escapades extended to a heartwarming episode where characters Dr. Axelrod and Pia Luther Hawkins tried to lift the spirits of a wounded Dr. Fiscus. In a quirky attempt, they blew up rubber surgical gloves, adorning them over their heads in an amusing yet futile effort. As the scene unfolded, Dr. Axelrod humorously mentioned a certain television figure who had famously performed the same comedic act, eliciting laughter from the audience. This meta moment was a nod to none other than Howie Mandel, who portrayed Dr. Fiscus, and had indeed made a name for himself with the rubber glove routine. In the ever-evolving landscape of television, Scent Elsewhere remains a memorable gem, not just for its engaging medical drama, but also for the intriguing anecdotes that unfolded both on and off the screen, and off the screen. William Daniels, the indomitable presence of Scent. Elsewhere in the annals of television history, few shows have left as lasting an impression as the 1982 medical drama Scent. Elsewhere, nestled within the bustling streets of Boston's South End, the series drew inspiration from the hallowed halls of Boston City Hospital, but it was the unwavering presence of William Daniels that truly set it apart. Across the series' six-year run, William Daniels, the consummate actor with a commanding presence, etched his mark upon the hearts of viewers. Portraying Dr. Mark Craig, the resolute chief of surgery, Daniels appeared in nearly every single episode a feat that eluded his castmates. With only eight absences, his dedication to the role was second to none, becoming the bedrock upon which the show's success was built. Interestingly, it was the younger members of the cast who also managed to rack up an impressive tally of appearances, even if not in every single episode. 
Ed Begley Jr., a versatile performer, took a back seat in just 11 episodes, while the talented David Morse bowed out from a mere 16. Their commitment mirrored the essence of Sint. Elsewhere, a tapestry of characters that wove together the intricate fabric of a hospital's bustling life. In a television landscape replete with rapid cast turnovers and ephemeral narratives, Sint elsewhere dared to be different. It held steadfastly to the compelling portrayals of its core cast, anchored by the unwavering presence of William Daniels. As his formidable Dr. Mark Craig navigated the highs and lows of the medical profession, Daniels' acting prowess shone through, leaving an indelible mark on the show's legacy. So, while the bustling corridors of Boston City Hospital may have provided the backdrop for Sint, Elsewhere, it was the enduring dedication of William Daniels and his fellow castmates that transformed the series into an unforgettable journey. Through the lens of medicine, drama, and human connection, the show served as a reflection of life's complexity, all masterfully brought to life by the talents that graced its screen. In the grand tapestry of television history, Sunt. Elsewhere remains a testament to the power of a dedicated cast and the resounding impact of one actor's unwavering commitment. And commitment. And commitment. And com as we bid adieu to the entrancing world of Sint. Elsewhere, we find ourselves at a crossroads of nostalgia and contemplation. The series, like a timeless melody, has woven its intricacies into the fabric of our minds, leaving behind a symphony of memories that dance in the corridors of our hearts. Just as the hospital's walls held secrets and stories, so too do our own lives bear the mark of its impact. Let us pause for a moment, a breath suspended in time, to reflect upon the characters who became our companions, the dramatic crescendos that quickened our pulses, and the moments of tender connection that stirred our emotions. Sunt elsewhere transcended its status as a mere TV show. It became an intricate mirror, reflecting the complexities of our human experiences. Each episode was a brushstroke on the canvas of our understanding, painting a vivid tableau of life's trials and triumphs. We laughed, we cried, and we shared in the struggles and victories of these fictional yet profoundly relatable lives. Just as the doctors and nurses navigated the maze of their profession, we, too, navigated the labyrinthine corridors of our own existence, drawing strength and inspiration from their stories. But this isn't farewell for the resonance of Sint. Elsewhere lingers on. As you recount your cherished moments, the scenes that etched indelible imprints on your soul, remember that you are not alone in this journey of remembrance. Your thoughts, your anecdotes, they contribute to the tapestry of collective recollection, perpetuating the legacy of a series that dared to delve into the intricacies of the human experience. So, let the tales of Sint elsewhere continue to resonate in your heart, sparking conversations and igniting the flames of camaraderie among kindred spirits who share your affinity for this remarkable series. Your memories are the tributaries that feed into the river of its enduring impact. With profound gratitude for your time and your willingness to delve into the realms of Sint, elsewhere once more, we extend our heartfelt appreciation. May you always find solace in the echoes of its narratives, and may your personal connection to this remarkable series continue to enrich your life. Remember, your story is a part of this greater narrative, a testament to the enduring power of art to touch our lives. Thank you for embarking on this journey down memory lane. Until we meet again, keep those stories alive, and may the legacy of Sint elsewhere forever thrive. Warm regards.